Right. I got one I want to bring up. Um, right. This is like super, super relevant to me because like I grew up in a small town. So uh, Jason Aldean, um, probably seven, ten days ago, uh, it's been all over TikTok, um, all over the news stations, um, viral clips of it, people's reactions to it, all sorts of stuff. Jason Aldean dropped a song called Try That in a Small Town. And uh, in, the, in the music video, um, that's where the, well, at first people heard the song and they're like, oh, is this, you know, like, like what's he talking about? What's he's referring about? Obviously the music video came out and then it like really painted this whole picture. Um, and then it got people like all sorts of, of fucking butthurt, right? So Jason Aldean's Try This in a Small Town music video is, is basically got all these little blurps from like the protests during the, the um, Black, George Lives, Matter, Black yeah. Lives Matter, uh, George, um, George Floyd stuff. Um, it's got some clips from a lot of just like crazy like city shit that happens. We've talked about it on the podcast here, like the car thefts. Um, um, vandalization stuff. stuff, like all sorts of stuff. So yeah. anyway, what's got people all bent out of shape and curious on your guys' thoughts, uh, people are saying that it is, it is racist. Um, there's even accusations that it's pro lynching. Um, there's people just really like diving deep into it. And there's been a lot of like bullshit reactions, I feel. But then also I've seen some like really cool reactions, how it's like, people coming together. Um, so for example, there's, there's been a lot of African Americans that have came out and actually done like reaction videos on TikTok, And it's uh, like, you know, African American that is watching this video and they're like, what the fuck y'all talking about? Like all this video is actually doing is it's, this is real life shit. This is real life shit that's happening in the U S this is the state of our country. We got people running the streets with, you know, zero moral values um, and and just like, you know, straight fucking out of line shit that's going on. So anyway, I'm just curious on like what your guys' thoughts are. I've seen, you know, people with, you know, saying like, oh, this is all bullshit. Um, I don't know why you guys are acting like this, but then I've also seen people like, oh, this is, this is that, this is this, like, it's kind of crazy, bro. So I sent you guys both the video, just curious on your thoughts. Uh, so for me, I'm, I'm obviously the, the believer that this world is fucked up as is. And I think that the fact that there's musicians now coming out with music like this yep. <laughs> kind of paints a bigger picture about how fucked up we are because uh, the riots and all this shit, it, it's all gone too, too far, in my opinion. Yep. Um, what do you mean? Just like there's ways that you can protest and there's ways that you can, uh, you know, demonstrate what your, your feelings are. But I feel that there needs to be a lot more based in like factual evidence have cops killed black people absolutely right does anything that jason aldean said in that make anything racist wise i didn't see anything racist out of his uh music video or any any of the lyrics yeah. i don't think so either so for me to call that racist is just kind of like what we're, we're constantly seeing it's like if it doesn't play along with a specific like direction of topic that some see it go along with the agenda. Yeah. If it doesn't follow those certain norms, then it's, it's racist. Yeah. It's automatically categorized and separated. Yep. Yeah. It's interesting. Cause I mean, I think all three of us have different political views, right? So uh, I, I, I can see why some people would say it's racist. I can see why pro lynching is fucking insane. Yeah. Um, I would say I'm a pretty left leaning guy. I didn't really, I didn't, I mean, where's the lie, bro? Yeah. yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, no, it's I'll call it like, a spade a spade. Like that shit was fucked up. Now, was the idea? Here's the thing, though. This is what the shit that kind of sucks, though. I was, I was when that happened. 20, it was 2020, right? I had just moved here, so like uh, probably a few months before. You know, all my friends that live downtown, all my friends that are in Chicago, right, where the shit was really going off. Like, where they're burning. These guys are wearing purge masks, like in the movie, yeah. burning cop cars. Standing yeah. on it, fucking replicating the scene, psychopathic yeah, yeah. shit. I was in Oakland during this. It was fucking nuts. So yeah, my friends that lived there, they were like, "Oh, bro, I'm in my high rise." You know, they're because high rises usually have uh, like retail space. Bro, they're breaking in and out of that motherfucker. So they're yeah. over here, like, bro, I have my fucking AR pointed down. Let them try. Like the ones that live on the first floor. That yeah. If you really 
hop on top of a car, you can reach it, you can get into the balcony, and now you're in the yeah, house. Yeah. So the paranoia was crazy, right? And you're like, what are you gonna do? Call the cops? They're yeah. everywhere. Yeah. What was fucked up was, you know, you they're seeing this shit. I think I don't remember exactly where it popped off. I think it happened in was it Michigan or no? Uh, wherever that took place, the first with George, George Floyd. George Floyd. Yeah, I don't remember. I don't. I don't remember exactly where, but. That's where, so then the other city started to catch on and be like, oh shit, this is, we yeah. can raise attention, right? What was fucked up is that besides St. Patrick's Day, besides the days that uh, the Blackhawks won the World Series and it was a parade, besides Pride Day, that was the busiest, those few days were the busiest days for the Metro. Yeah. Right? So what that means is that people from all these different suburbs are coming to the city to do that. As that's happening, it's the busiest day for traffic to get out of the fucking city. So what does that tell you? That says that people that just want to cause yep. shit, they want to f- hopefully find a Gucci store, break into it, and do stupid yep. shit that have nothing to do with the actual... Exactly. The actual, like, raising awareness. And I'm not saying that's how you do it. Yep. But, I mean, it kind of worked, right? Yeah. It's fucked up, though. I have friends that have businesses that got destroyed. Yep. Some of them had to close because of that. Yep. Like, permanently. But what um, do you mean it kind of worked? It... In the fact that, like, the, the, I mean, the word got out. Yeah. I mean, I guess that was a bad thing. It was yeah. a bad thing. Yeah. It was terrible. I don't agree with it. Yeah. I, I don't agree with it, but, um, I fucking lost, I lost my train of thought. But what I'm, um, well, the, the whole I reason think it was bad at the end. I, don't, I, don't, I mean, it was just the people that I think, like, that were like, yo, this is really fucked up. I don't think we're the ones that were, yeah. Breaking into stores, yeah, trying yeah. to get shit. So here's here's my so whole that's thing. That's fucked up because what the world sees is that yeah. oh everybody that said you know this happened to George Floyd and all the other people that we don't know that no one ever talks about. Yeah, they're the ones that are breaking in there, and it's just like yeah. no. But no, but that's no. what I'm saying. So the the issue that I have is uh, I wish that there would be more people talking out against what happened because in my opinion, if Let's say Black Lives Matter, if that whole movement was for something peaceful and was trying to do something right, but it got hijacked by a group of people that were destroying the fucking cities that they live in, yeah, they should have spoke out about it because now, if anything, that's that's created more racism. Right, but, yeah. can I, can, but let me interject, <laughs> yeah. though. Me, I had zero idea, and I don't think a lot of people had a really a clue. I thought Black Lives Matter was a phrase. I didn't know it was an organization. Right. I don't yeah. think a lot of people knew that that was an organization because the phrase of like, it's like, um, it, it's something you want to stand by, right? Where it's yeah. just like, you know, all lives matter, black lives matter. Yeah. Like, you're seeing all this shit happen. It's just like, yeah, I agree with that. But I didn't know that there was an organization that was buying mansions, that was doing all yeah. this, that was profiting. Some, yeah, some crazy That was what, profiting what, off of yeah. people's. Um, so, but let me just ask you this. When, when you heard someone say, donate to Black Lives Matter, where did you think that went? I, I don't know. I just thought that was like a, like a, I didn't know that it was one specific thing. I just thought that it was maybe like a local, and that's just probably my, me being a naive, right? And, and doing zero research on that. Because I'm like, oh, that's kind of crazy. Like, what are you going to do to, yeah. how do you, how do you, how do you, because again, to my, in my mind, and a lot of people that I spoke to, it was just a phrase. It's a phrase that where it's like, yeah, I, 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 yeah. I believe that. I think that yeah. everybody's lives matter, but I think. What you're seeing is a trend, and I think like yeah, yeah, maybe yeah, people should pay attention to the fact that there's a lot of, you know, uh, black and brown people yeah. dying, you know, yeah. in the hands of police unjustly. Yeah, uh, and and I, I still believe that, right? Yeah. But the fact that it's an organization that's profiting off of that selfishly, yeah. it, it makes me like, uh, well, why did I even like fuck you? I didn't donate. Yeah. I'd be mad as yeah. fuck if I did. Yeah. But that, again, that's where again, like, I, and I think it's it's a lot of people who really didn't understand that that was. Like a uh, a fucking group, you yeah. know. This, I don't but know. I, I, I don't it, know what what is. Go ahead. Sorry. No, I, I was just gonna say that you know. And the one thing I, I want to comment about the song is there's oh, a, yeah, there's no. a lot of people <laughs> there's a lot of people that that don't quite really understand the meaning of that song, and I actually don't blame them because a lot of people didn't grow up in quote unquote small towns. So, and this is just a little insight from like you know how I grew up in a small town. You, you know a lot of people um, because it, it's so small. Um, you, you become close with people around you. Um, even if you don't know the lady up the street that much, you respect her. If you see some fucked up shit happening in a small town, like you let that person know. Um, small town is very much about uh, community and you know, loyalty and respect and taking care of you know, your community. You just don't do like fucked up shit. Like if you hear that someone in the town is breaking into houses or breaking into cars, like that person's gonna get addressed. 
And I guarantee you that shit will not happen Yeah. because it's like, you know, do some fucked up shit. You're going to get some consequences. Right. We live in a, a society today where everyone's offended and, and everyone is, um, I have the right to do this, you know, whatever. What does that have and to do with like the song though? So, so I mean, like, everything, because everything, it, it's, it's everything about a small because town. he says, don't try this. So, in a small so town. he says, don't try this in a small town. What that means is that in a small town, None of this shit would ever happen in a small town. Because everyone's got everyone's back. Everyone's, I agree. everyone's yeah, yeah. got each other's. Um, There's places in like, Everyone's got each other like back. Yeah. Yeah, um, sure. And it's it's about you know community and it just it's really bro about it's about just like respect for people yeah. and it's like you just like do you want to be stolen from? Do you want your car fucking broken into? Do you want your fucking windows bashed on your house? No, you don't. So why the fuck do that to someone else? Right. Like it just it's it's respecting people, bro. Right. And there is a lack of. Um, but there's just there's a lack of like respect. You got you got young kids that are just disrespectful as fuck, bro. Yeah, no, I agree. Like, I agree, I agree. But, so but, but, so but, what what I guess I'm 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 getting mm -hmm. at here is people don't really understand, and I don't blame them. They don't understand the concept of like how small towns are, and that's what he's really trying to get across. Mm -hmm. Like, you would never do this fucked up shit. Um, in a small town and he's basically re referring to how life is in small town communities um, in rural America versus the shit that that cities. we let go in metropolitan cities we talked on the last podcast how you know you, you do some fucked up shit in LA you know you don't even get put in jail anymore they fucking know. You they, see they, all these they, they fucking Fuck slap me. you on the wrist you can go into California and fucking rob CVS and 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 the, Which, the security by the way, that's is just our gonna next vlog trip like they're just gonna make a road you as you walk out. They can't so, say it. Yeah, yeah. So I, I guess to end my spiel here, all I'm getting at is the shit that goes on in cities does not happen in small towns because there's 15 people in a city. Yeah, Hold yeah, on. but oh, it's, was that your camera? Did it stop? Um, I don't know. In my opinion, I think that, and again, the shit that people are doing is fucked up. Like I've always, I've always said that, but. I don't know. I, I guess my thoughts, bro. They, of course, shit like that's not happening in a small town because there's 15 people fucking living there. People this are also... Okay. This shit oh, happens I, I because there's a population... Yep. I want to say population issue, but for every one person in a small town in Montana, there's yep. 6,000 in okay. a different place. And so, so, so to that point, though, is... It's, it's, it's not even the fact, Chewy, that it's a small town and only so many people. It's how people were raised right. and, and, the, and yeah, yeah. The, the values. Right. I was, I was raised with like, if I didn't open the door for my grandmother... Yeah. For any lady, bro, I would fucking she would smack me straight up. Like, 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 like my grandma would be like, "You open a door for a lady." Yeah. Like, you know, like there's there's like little shit that like we were born and raised and like like just values were instilled on us on a young age. Like you you treat elders with respect. Mm -hmm. Um, you treat your parents and grandparents with respect. Um, you know, it's like it's like um. If uh, it's like it's like fucking Bambi, you know, you know, if uh, if if you don't got anything nice to say, don't um, you know, don't anything, you know, don't say anything, or how does it go again? <laughs> don't, don't, say, don't say anything. Uh, don't say um, anything at all. Yeah, yeah. Um, if I you don't got anything nice to movie, say, bro. don't say anything at all. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. So, but it's like, and I guess like that's the comment I'll, I'll make is too is it's not necessarily on like is like the small town and yes, in a small town, it's it's a lot easier to control all people's actions and what they're doing. The point that I want to make, it's it's more, it's deeper than that. It's yeah. it's the values on like how we were raised. Like I, I, I agree, you know, you're right. Like you're it's right. values. But I don't, I don't, I don't. Yeah, but you grew up with the luxury of, um, I'm, I'm not with. Okay, being white. No, 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 no. <laughs> with with the, and I'm not trying to say like your family's got bread like that, right? But I'm saying like, you grew up with the not having to worry about where's your next meal going to come from. A lot of these I, people, yeah, bro. You obviously don't know that part about me, but no. But yeah, I, 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 I grew where up. You're going. I grew but, up. Yeah, we we really struggled growing up. But keep going. But what I'm saying is, a lot of these people, bro, like in these and I'm not vouching for them. I don't. I don't want to no, fucking make it sound like I'm vouching for them, right? Yeah, but a lot of these people, bro, like I've seen. You know, these parents were like 30. Their kids are 15. Terrible fucking choices. You know, you got to live with them. You, yeah. know, you do what you do, right? Like, no, you, you did that shit. Product of your environment. You you fucking did it, right? But now it's like I'm on survive mode. I have to fucking work two jobs to make sure I got fucking rent for this place to fucking these kids. I don't really have to. The, it, I'm, not, I'm not justifying it, but a lot of times these people are focused on surviving and, and that's it. And 
surviving for themselves also yeah. means making sure these motherfuckers have food. No, it's but it's no, like you gotta so be. It's, is, it's 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 like it's fucking domino effect, dude. If 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 your parents were not raised like it's all it's all about that upbringing, bro. Of course. Like of if course. it is it is who who those people you look up to, whether it is. Like, I don't even care if you don't have a mom and dad. It's like you look up to your grandma, your grandpa, your brother, your sister, who, who whoever's raising you, auntie, uncle, whatever it is. Yeah, yeah. It's You had the like, example. You, like, you become like a product for your environment. And I guess, to me, to be honest, bro, and I know this is like, this is such something easy to say, but... It's like people just got to be better, bro. Like people got to do a better job of like raising, raising fucking well, kids. But hold on, hold on. Have you? Because uh, this reminds me. Uh, I just watched the movie last night. Have y'all seen the number one movie on Netflix right now? Is uh, we we clone Tyrone or something like that? No, but I've I've, I've heard. Bro, about it. watch that shit tonight because it it has just such a good message, and I'm not going to spoil any of it for you. But long story short, the the message that I got from it was. Uh, it takes some self-realization that we, uh, as the people, are fucking up our own community. So yeah, thank my, you. my yeah, thing yeah, yeah. about that, you. and that's why I love that that hit number one on Netflix, because I think that's going to spread more of a positive message than we've seen for yeah. a long time in these fucking inner city communities. Yep. Because a lot of the, the, the things, the arguments that you hear about nowadays is about the nuclear family, how once that disappeared, you know, kids aren't getting raised right. The dad's out of the home. Yeah, right, yeah, yeah. so it's going to take these dads starting to step up to be there for their kids, to father yeah. their children, but more importantly, to start making the right decisions for themselves. Eventually, stop fucking looting, stop robbing people, stop fucking selling drugs, and fucking be do something for an honest living. You you have to do it, and but that that's also a lot of that stuff. And I, I, I'm going to keep saying this. I'm not fucking vouching for him, right? Yeah, yeah. You're very All right, I don't mind a devil's no, 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 advocate. No, 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 I'm, I'm a son of no, two I don't mind a devil's bro. advocate. Go. They could have been doing that shit, but guess what? They didn't. My dad was three, five. They, yeah. know, they know this shit. Go ahead, but what do you say? But saying? what I'm saying is like, I guess kind of back to your topic, Evan. You weren't around, and it sounds like it. You weren't around people, you know, getting jumped. You weren't around people like that were, I had, I, I had, I had friends and I knew people that their friends like middle school, high school, like they didn't even get to make it to high school, but they're getting fucking shot. Like they're getting, they're getting yeah. fucked up, you know? Yeah. Like you're walking around and, and you go into school and they're like, they're trying to recruit you into a gang. And it's just like, yeah. yo, hold on, bro. I was just fucking yeah. <laughs> like, you, you, so if you're not around this type of shit, it's easy to be like, well, yeah, bro, step up. Like, you don't got to do that. Just be a better person. But sometimes, yeah. bro, you, you like, it's, you're, you're, you're dropped into this yeah. fucking thing. And it's just like, and thank God a lot of people make it out and don't have to do that, but you're, it, it's, you're being placed in this fucked up situation. Yeah, but see, bro. but that's also the problem. People make it the fuck out. As soon as anyone gets money, they fucking run away from their hood. Sure. But when you're, when you're, you're 14, you're 14, 15, when you get into high school. I'm not saying they're doing anything wrong, yeah. but what I'm saying is it takes it. It needs to start happening where these people look at their community yep. and say, "This place is fucked yep. up," yep. and I'm ready to be a martyr if I have to be <clears throat> to fucking save this bitch. Here's, Someone needs to do it. Yeah, yeah. No, I mean, yeah. here's the thing though: is like, is like what we're all talking about is like this is not going to happen overnight. Like this is yeah. going to, this is going to take like a long generation. This is going to take like generations. Because it's been happening for generations. This is, right. like, it's going to take like generations to change. But I think going back to like the actual like video and this is another, like this is something that can change overnight. Uh, well, it, it, it can change just with how people look at shit. Right. Everything is about perception 100%. on what you, what you take away from something and it's this, it's this world we live in today where people, instead of looking at something and looking at it for like what it is, people are looking at it to, to, to pick out the wrong, um, yeah. to, to pick out like, oh, are they being racist? They're oh, looking are, for something. Or oh, like people look for that shit today. Like instead yeah. of people like, like looking at some content and being like, okay, what are these guys really trying to do? But, and then once again, it goes down to perception. There's people like me who like, look at this and I'm thinking like, I can relate from, cause I'm from a small town. So my perception is like, Hey, small town living, city living, what's happening in these cities? What images he has in the video? Like, it's like, I'm like, all these ideas are kind of bouncing around in my head. But then there's also people who they just look at it and say, Oh, um, this is, this is a, this is a white, uh, white country artist that has African-Americans uh, looting and, and stealing and protesting. 
And that's how some people look at it. So that's how they, they look at it. So they immediately think, oh, this guy's racist. He's a white singer. He has these people in his video doing right. bad things. They're racist. But, but it, it's once again, perception. Sure. But can I play, let's play devil's advocate, right? Imagine you're a, you just got your license. You're 16 years old in a small town in Louisiana. White, you're a white guy. Yeah. You love this fucking country singer. You watch his video and you're like, Man, fucking this, number one, the song's a banger. But two, it's just like you're watching the the the, the visual, and you're like, you know what, man, this, he's he's making a good point, bro. Like, why, you know, these these fucking these black guys are doing this shit. They're breaking up these cities. Yep. Is it not easy to start painting that picture of black people kind of suck? Well, if you're an impression, if you're a kid watching this. And you're listening because when I was six yeah. years old, I was listening to Chief Keef. Like, nah, that's, you know what? Yeah, we got to bust on the ops. Like, that's a like that like that's but that's, but that's a, a greater real, issue though. That's a greater issue. That's it's a that's, real video. I don't care yeah. what color anyone was in the exactly, video. If yeah. it's real black people that are looting the fucking place, it was yeah, real yeah. black people looting the place. Sure, but don't you think that it could be perceived that yeah. that black people are bad as a impressionable 15, 16 year old kid? It, but it doesn't matter why see what concerns me yeah. is why is it that there's a focus on yep. how could that 15 16 year old kid be looking at that and thinking about black people why isn't there more accountability well, on again, the motherfuckers looting the building yeah. Yeah. no no you're right it's but the, but that should be the focus it's looking 100%. at the skin okay, color okay, okay, hold on it's it looking should, at the skin color versus actually question, what's going on what's what's the question i just told you what, do you yeah. not think that it could it could Yes, but what I'm saying yeah, is like, that okay, I just wanted matter. you to say that. I agree. Yeah. The video's real. It's not a made up thing. Yeah. The, uh, and there's also, and I, and I just used black for example, but there's all, they did a really good, I think they thought that through. There's all different fucking colors. Yeah. There's white people, yeah. Yeah, there's old people, young people. Yeah, there's all sorts of, there's, yeah. Yeah, yeah. there's, there's, there's crazy, was, crazy white girls spitting on the cops. Yeah, 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 yeah. that's nice. crazy as fuck. You know, right? so, yeah. so I think that, yeah. I think that, that, that's why to me for it to be racist is, is pretty insane. You know what I mean? It's it's very whatever. But, but it was it's against the movement. That's why it was it was deemed racist in my opinion. But but that's what I'm saying. I just that's stupid I, people I getting hate, mad about some stupid. I people. hate that we're in a, a society that's so victimized about everything. Because what I wish everyone would would start to realize is that the second that you paint yourself as a victim is when you truly lose. Because the second that you've given away all of your power of accountability to someone else, they're, they're painting me this way, you don't have any more power to get out of a situation that you're in. Whereas if you take the accountability and say, we should be doing better. Okay, but I could be. Okay, doing but better. Evan in a small town, right? He, let's just say no TV, you don't, we don't watch. You, you don't think there's bad you, apples in a small town? There's bad apples. No, no, of course. Yeah, okay. I think there's terrible apples in a big town. Yeah. What I'm saying is if Evan has no outside exposure of Latinos. Okay. He from from a small town in Montana. Whatever, they're they're like, oh, bro, they're fucking. They'll steal from you. Everything yeah. Trump said, right? They'll steal from you. They'll rape you. Blah blah blah. You move to Vegas. You meet me. You're not gonna be my friend because everything you've learned is yeah. I think terrible. Uh, I feel like that's an assumption. Yeah, that's a weird assumption mean? because he yeah. came from a small town. Does he hate you? He's hanging out with two fucking. No, no, no. But right he now. was also he was, <laughs> but he was also. Uh, I guess it's a bad example because you still you were still yeah. able to 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 see culture from a different. And yeah. plenty of people, but there's have also people other that opportunity. Yeah, yeah. There's no, and, and, and all. Don't, don't give me. Yeah, that that's a bad days, example. Bro. That's a bad example. But what yeah. I'm saying is, I think it happens on both sides. I think yeah. young kids in Chicago listen to, to to drill music. That's fucked up. I think. Uh, I think it can. It could. It could. It, yeah. It, I don't know how to explain what so, I'm saying, but do you know what I'm saying though? Oh yeah, yeah. And I think I think like you're you're now bringing up like kind of the next thing I would love to talk about here, um, and this is obviously kind of like you know you just said Chicago drill music. So the one thing that, that's really kind of like blown my mind is this video is like went crazy. I think it's, it's hitting like 20 million. Bro, 17 like, you know, million in, in 10 days. Okay, so, okay, so 17 Huge. million, right? So two things I want to bring up here. So CMT, um, Country Music Television. It's the MTV of Country Music, mm -hmm. um, CMT channel. Uh, CMT came out and said, hey, uh, we, are, we are removing this video. Um, Did they really? From Whoa. our playlist. Wow. This, this, this will not be played on our network. So Blake Shelton, another massive, massive yeah. country artist. Blake Shelton just came out and said, hey, CMT, I do not give you the authorization or right to play any of my music 
from here on forward until this video gets reinstated. Nice. All these country artists are now popping up and says, this is fucking bullshit. Yeah, good you, protesting you, you're, you're removing, you're removing this video when it is, it, it is not what people are portraying this to be. And now all these country artists are basically standing up. Um, so there's, See, there's, there's a couple things I just wanna bring up here. So this is the first part of it, right? CMT is saying, hey, we're bringing this video down because this is promoting racism or right. this is doing this, that, and whatever. Meanwhile, on the flip side of all of this, we have, and, and I, I, I really relate this because I do love country music. I grew up on it. I had two stations in my hometown. There was two country stations. That was it, okay? Um, hip hop, in, in general, we, we have, uh, whether or not they want to admit it, we're promoting gangs, we're promoting violence, we're providing guns, we're, we're promoting popping people, uh, all sorts of, uh, you know, gun gang violence, however you want to look at it. So, 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 if you ain't gang, you lame, so, bro. so I, I go on world star hip hop right now and it's like every fucking third video has got some, some guy standing with a gun or talking about this, that, or whatever. So we got a lot of people out there. Um, portraying or painting images a hell of a lot worse than some media clips that are factual shit that actually, you know, happened in a country music video, but yet we can have all this shit in hip hop. Yeah. Well, but this, so this is why it makes it so interesting. What I, what I need you guys to do is watch this fucking movie tonight. <laughs> we clone Tyrone, whatever it's called. Yeah. Watch it. And next episode, we're going to all chat about it because all yeah. of this ties in. Yeah. All of it ties in. The music, yeah. See, now everything in that culture ties in. But now I'm wondering if I miss something because you, you're you a thousand percent right. You know, but there's like, for example, all these videos with guns are not on MTV. That's, I think that's kind of where it's, 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 you won't see, uh, a, you won't see a, 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 pull up with a stick. This guy named, uh, whatever, I forget his name. Yeah. Everybody will fucking go. You're not oh, going to see yeah, that on yeah. MTV. Gang, you're, yeah, the gang rap. Yes. Yeah, yeah, okay. You'll see that shit on YouTube all day. Yeah. yeah. So now I just wonder if maybe there was, is if it's like gun violence. I don't know. That I think is probably just, um, uh, something to save sponsors. Because there, I don't want to say there's violence in that video, but it's, uh, is there? I don't think so. Well, aside from, I guess, how you can interpret violence is you better not do this in a small town or, or what, <laughs> right? No, I mean, they don't say that, like, we'll fuck you up. They don't, it's right. not, it's not but a You better not threat. do this. Yeah. Yeah, but I, I, I think it's, I think that's more of a logistic, logistical issue. Yeah, right. You know what I mean? Because... Again, you won't see a Chief Keef video on, on, on MTV. Is that amazing marketing for sure? And does it also paint the yeah. picture of like, oh, they're trying to silence this music video? Like, I think that almost does more harm than it does good. Yeah. In the fact of like the divide. But one thing though that is really cool that other country music artists are like, well, fuck it, if you're not going to put that, take my shit off. Right. Yeah. I think that's really cool. So do I. Yeah. And I, I take my hat off to that because that's badass. Because yeah. you don't, especially in music yeah. when it's competition. Yeah, yeah. You, right. you don't, you don't yeah. see that people yeah. at all. Enough well, for what's and, fucking yeah. right, bro. People get canceled in podcasts all the yeah. time. You don't see people like, well, fuck, that. I'm not gonna yeah. do mine anymore. They're like, bro, that sucks. Yeah. <laughs> see you guys next yeah. week. Yeah, no, I, you know I mean, I, that's, that's I cool think, as fuck. Yeah. And I don't like country I think, music. I hate that shit. Really? I think there yeah, is some great positives coming out because I think you know, number one, I love people like standing up like that. But I think to me, like the coolest part is. And if, if you just go on like TikTok, like you'll, you'll see some of these videos, but it's African-American like country music artists that are out there um, or like a just African-American entertainers in general that are in the yeah. music business. They're all doing these videos kind of being like, hey guys, like this isn't really the video. This is actually the media and this is the agenda. And see, if, that's if, where it's fucked up, if, though. It paints if, that picture. That if, is that. If you guys go to when Google, it's just a, I want to save my sponsors. If, if you got, yeah, exactly. So if you go to, if, 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 if you go to Google and just type in like this name of this video, you're going to see that every headline based on whether it's CNN, whether it's Fox, whether it's NBC, ABC, everyone based on their political oh, views, you mean, whether you're left, whether you're right, whatever it is, everyone's painting like this different picture. And that's where I think it's got, it, it's getting so interesting now where it's like, 
okay, is it not really even the video? Is it actually the media trying to pull people left yeah. or like yes. right? Um, Personally. And, yeah. and where, where the coolest videos I've seen is like, it's, it's, you know, it's got like, um, it's, you know, TikTok videos where it's like people are uniting and there's, there's white people, there's black people, there's all these different races. They're in the video and they're all like, Hey, like why, why, why are we like fighting against each other? Like we need to be uniting and coming together. Um, and I think it just, it's, there's a lot of people, um, trying to put a more of like a positive, uh, you know, spin on this. And that's what honestly this world needs, bro. Like there's, yeah, there's yeah, so yeah. much, there's so much division and, and left and yeah, right and uh, for sure. media corruption. Like I'll, I'll call out some shit. I have no problem doing that shit, but yeah. personally me, and, and again, I'm very, I would say I'm more left leaning. I don't, I don't see the problem. I don't see, yeah, I don't see the issue. Yeah. The motherfucker's not wrong, yeah. you know, but also too, it's easy to talk tough when you're in a time with three people, bro. Yeah. But that's, that's neither here or there. But I do think, I do think it gets lost in the fact that CMT wants to, uh, yeah. It's a business. Save the sponsors, not get people to pull out because of that. And unfortunately, the catalyst okay, of that is this. It's all about the money, bro. It, 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 it's all about the money. It's the investors, the sponsors. Well, but that's right. why it's interesting because, like, that's what I'm thinking about. It's almost like a double edged sword, right? Because yes. the division comes and then it's like, well, now this group isn't going to like you, exactly. even though this group is yeah. saying, take it down. You know, it's like, fucking, what do you do? Yeah. As CMT, what do you fucking do? What's the, the right end of the move? day? You're and a business. You don't bro. Know. Yeah. At the end of the day, you're a business. You're yeah. like, listen, I don't want fucking people to stop yeah. fucking with us. And, 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 you know, we're at cable TV, which is on, also on the way out. It just, it is right. what it is. Yeah. It is what it is. And that's, yeah. that's unfortunate for them. But, um, yeah, I mean, what's his name? The guy? Jason, Jason Aldean. Aldean. Hey, keep doing your thing, bro. Throw yep. some tickets. I'll go. Yeah. Gang, gang. So, uh, I, I, I think before we move to Mexico to start our cartel, um, maybe we should go to a small town. You know, I think so. We, I, I want to go to fucking I, Montana. In the I want to take you. Ski. Let's go. Ski. I want to. I want to take you to a Montana yeah. small town. Wait, I, you can, I yeah, do. I right. do water, yes, water sports, bro. I don't like fucking snow sports. What do you mean, bro? Like yeah. I like water. No, not surfing, but little, like wakeboarding is yo, my shit. The fuck is that? Little fucking, wakeboarding? That's the shit where you just yo, run and you, yo, you you go and no. you put the shit on your stomach. Yo. <laughs> You ever been wakeboarding? <laughs> yes, of course. What is so that? It's where the boat's pulling you. You got the thing and you got the board. Fuck yeah. no. You do that yeah. shit? Yeah. With your knees? Like your knees are still good to do that? I mean, define good. They'll make it. <laughs> <laughs> no, dude. We got, I want I want to I, I want to go to uh, I don't want to yeah. get hurt, bro. Can I just like sled? Like, but that's what I'm saying. You're going to get hurt. Yeah, you can go and skiing, snow sports, skiing would be better than like snowboarding. Yeah. Um, okay. So so you can ski. Yeah, there you yeah. go. Ski. We'll ski. Yeah. Yeah. I Yo, little ski. Mexican snow bunnies will get you a little snowsuit. Yes, bro. <laughs> yes, we're there, bro. <laughs> Dude, we'll get you guys like matching like dumb and dumber snowsuits. Fuck Fucking uh, the blue and orange. What, do you, what, what color you want? <laughs> I want orange. All right, blue fits me better. Yeah. Bro, we there. We locked All right. in. All right, perfect. Boys, anything else we want to end with? I think we're nah, good. Bro. Yeah, I'm I fucked hope, up. I hope y'all have the fucking best night of your life tonight. Hey, Make also go watch was- Elementals. Free plug. Go watch that shit, bro. You'll be crying like a motherfucker. I'm telling hey, you. Shout out. We clone Tyrone. Yep. <laughs> hey, thank you guys. We appreciate you. We'll see you on the next one. Peace. Peace. Peace.